I was a resident of Euclid for about seven years. I used to come up here all the time. Now I live further across town near the downtown area, but I still make the journey up here because it's still a fun place. I love to come and experience just the outdoor and the feel of the community, the togetherness, and just, it's a unity that you can't get anywhere else. There's something about the spirit of a skating rink that's always there to provide like something that warms your heart. So we all want Nick to know that we appreciate him and to thank him for being a part of our community. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's more so targeted at trying to stop the youth from the experience and what we experienced growing up. Playmore has been a part of a lot of our childhoods growing up around here and I think it's a great place. It's always been family oriented, always a place we can come and have fun, a place for kids to you know stretch out and be creative, all kinds of tricks, just everyone just having fun. It's a real strong part of the community and I think that Mix is doing a great job providing fun and service for the families. I think there's more to fear personally from the police than uh, someone roller skating. I mean, it's everyone in here having fun and relaxing and the police for some odd reason, they have a problem with, I guess, people having fun. I think there's more of a danger coming from them than there is of any skater or any kid playing here. So I've been coming here since I was a little girl. I'm 28 years old. I have three girls of my own and a son. Came here since I was a kid. We came here every weekend when it was called the roller drum. My kids come here, they were going to United States, but there was always fights and the fights would break out and the kids were allowed back the next weekend. I feel like I feel safer coming to this skating ring because they actually do what they're supposed to do. They actually regulate it. It's family oriented. I love this, I love this skating ring. I definitely don't feel like it's a threat. I feel like if anything, it's more of a positive outlet for our scholars to come here to have a positive place to express themselves, to enjoy themselves. They get mentorship here because the owner is not just, he don't just own it. He, he, he does things out in the community as well. It's a benefit. Closing this down will be detrimental to Euclid. I don't, what are, what are their kids supposed to do? They gonna go up to Euclid Beach Park? Then what? How do you feel about the fact that the city has spent more time trying to shut this rink down and trying to fix their police department. I definitely feel like that's a problem. They should probably focus on some of those aspects because when it's all said and done, our children don't even feel safe being policed by them to begin with. So for them to shut down the only positive outlet that our children have, I think, I think it sends the wrong message. I think it, it just lets them know that they're not really important. They're not valued. Their thoughts and their opinions and their parents' heritage, it doesn't mean anything. This, this, this skating rink is a part of our community. It's always been here. There's not very many places, especially right now during COVID, there's not a lot of places where our kids can go to spend time with each other and not have to tear up the parents' houses. You know, it's, it just wouldn't be a good idea. I think that they would see a whole lot more vandalism and on time, they would have a lot more problems out of our youth if they didn't have somewhere positive to go. I'm down, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, y'all, uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's a good place. It's a family place. You know, our, we got a, uh, another child. Our daughter come here and skate, like, every weekend, you know. Stop. You know, our daughter come here and skate every weekend. It's a, it's a real nice place, you know, uh, for families and just for something for teens to do. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a real nice place. I've been coming here since I was in high school, you know. Um, a real good place for families, stuff for kids to do, teenagers to do to blow off steam, you know, after school um, and weekends. And it's crazy, like, this is the only thing, like, in this whole city for, for shit for black people to do in general. You know, it's nothing for black people to do out here but go to jail. Like, honestly, jail and, and get fat and eat all day. Like, that's it. This is the only place you can actually get exercise and hang out with people, you know, without catching a felony, you know. And, uh, and it's crazy, you know, they keep trying to shut this place down, but you, you kind of got to look at the, the atmosphere around here. You know, it's nothing over here at all. If you go to the beach, if the kids go to the beach and there's too many kids, they get harassed by the police. You know, if, um, right, you know, if, uh, shit, if adults go over there, too many adults, you get harassed by the police out here. Like, it, it's, it's sad as shit, but it's the only place you can actually go and enjoy yourself. I done had situations where I'm just going to pick my kid up from the library and almost got shot by a cop, you know, because they thought I was a teenager. You dig? So, so for me, it's like, it's crazy that, you know, that, all right, put it like this. Uh, where I grew up at, they did the same thing. We had bowling alleys out there. 
they tore down every bowling alley. They kept shutting it down, kept shutting it down, and to the point of where it was nothing for you to do out there or for the kids to do but go to jail. You get what I'm saying? But I mean, it's it's kind of a it's kind of it's a common thing in, in these neighborhoods, you know, any suburb, anywhere where it's a, a larger black community than, than anything else. You know, this is what they do. Um, the way I see it, for real, for real, them shutting this down is just a, another way to really hit the mass incarceration button. I mean, you know, to get more money for you know, to to to, to fund them. You these like, um, it's just some foul shit. Honestly, anything I could do to help, I'm I'm helping. Um, in the city I grew up in, I swear, I swear to God, they literally shut down. <clears throat> they literally shut down every bowling alley we had out there, every basketball court, even the tennis courts, the swimming pools. They cemented them in, like, like to the point of there's nothing. Bad fact, put like this, it was so bad that, that they closed everything down. The city literally shut everything down and opened up a felony police department. You get what I'm saying? Bedford Heights, Ohio. You understand know me? Like when I say they so foul out here, but when I say this is this is not something that's new. They've been doing this shit since since the early shit, early forever. You feel me? Like like I'm in early '80s, early '90s, uh, '90s, early 2000s. I honestly and sit back and watch them literally arrest every friend I have had. You know what I'm saying? And every one of them that I had, they ended up in that federal jail that they got out there. You get know what I'm saying? And all this because there's nothing for kids to do. There's nothing. Any any park out here, you, to, like say if me and my kids and uh, the rest of my relatives went there for a family function, the police would show up. Why are y'all here? What are y'all doing here? You know, like, damn, like, what the fuck? I pay taxes. What do you mean? What am I here? What am I doing? I fund your job. Like, are you not understanding this? But, you know, that that's what they do. All right, my kid came here before uh, the last, last little incident they had out here. It's not here okay this is not the problem it's the fact of y'all shut down everything else for these kids to do this is the only place they have to go if, if a child wanted to fight when you were younger and you got a, to a disagreement with somebody y'all fought where'd y'all normally fight at at a park at you feel me like or even if y'all had a, a brass you know a rough discussion it was at a park you feel me outside if this is the only place for you to go and you run into that person you had this disagreement at where's else is it gonna happen at you know I, mean? I mean i mean but but other than that the police don't have any uh, let's let the kids talk type situations. Let, let's let figure this out with the community situations. Every time I pick my child up from the library, I see police running around the parking lot, doing like 90 through a fucking residential parking lot. What are you doing for two kids arguing? You know what I'm saying? They don't, like the police out here aren't friendly. I mean, it's just like maybe I've met one cop that was pretty cool. Other than that, everybody else is pretty, pretty fucked up. I mean, like really shitty people. Like, I mean, it's... I'd have had one literally like blow down, like walk up on my daughter, like you go put your hands on my child. And this is an officer. Now, would I be wrong for whooping him? Like, you get what I'm saying? But why why do we have these situations where that could even happen? You know, like wh what makes the cop think that it's okay to put your hands or even approach a child like you go do something to that child? Speak, say something. It's a, it's a disagreement going on. What happened? Can I help? You know, like it, I thought that's what they got paid for. You know, what else, what else are you supposed to do? Like, I have met, maybe I, I'll take it back, probably by like two or three cops that was okay. But then as I as I found out, like I kept seeing them more and more around the city, I found out they really weren't okay because they end up turning out to be the same people at the library harassing the kids. So like, what just happened? Like, bro, we just had a good conversation on how you here to protect and you know, this is your job. But two days later, I see you out there like snatching the fuck out of a child. Like, what is you doing? Like, and then I wonder like, do any of them have kids? It, I don't think any. I honestly don't think any at all. Like, and I, I've been around this neighborhood for a nice little while. I mean, everyone I've ran across, I've never saw one of these officers in plain clothes, I, unless they're trying to do something sneaky. Other than that, I haven't seen any in plain clothes, you know, like, and that, that's crazy. Even the, uh, what's the situation in um, uh, Willow Arms? Willow Arms, where they, where they tased the one little boy, and then, then the other cop, like, kind of hit him in the head, punched the other one in the head, and, like, need the other one in the nuts. Like, my little brother was standing right there and watched this whole shit. Like, and my little brother is 15 years old. Like, I don't feel comfortable with my little brother or my daughter being outside around police. Like, that's, that's isn't that kind of backwards and weird? That's, that's wrong, right? Okay, I thought I was losing my shit. Maybe I'm going crazy, right? Yeah, no, nah, you know, but, but that's, that's how the police are out here. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm moving out of here in a second, like for the just because I, I can't. I got little boys. Touch one of mine's gonna go bad. I can't help them with that one, you know. But you have a good one though. Thank you.